Oh my gosh. This movie is so funny. Yeah. I wonder if all the report cards came in the mail. Can I answer that? Oh, hey, Mom. Hey, Mom. Hi. I got each of your report cards in the mail today. How'd we do? I don't know. I didn't open them yet. Well, what are you waiting for? All right. Mary Ellen, I'll start with you. Um, okay. Wow, your grades have improved quite a de quite a lot. You got an you got an A in history, a C in English, a B minus in math, an A in science, an A in music, and a B plus in health. That's very good. Thanks, Mom. All right, Julie, let's look at your report card. Uh, just as I expected, you got straight A's. I'm very proud of you, Julie. Thanks, Mom. Well, listen, girls, I'm going to start dinner, so why don't you go wash up? Be there in a minute. <sighs> What's wrong? Nothing. Mary Ellen, what's wrong? Like, you don't know. I don't know. You're upset about something, so you might as well tell me. Come on. Nothing's wrong, really. I'm fine. Are you sure? Just go away. I'm fine. Okay. But if you want to talk, let me know. You're the last person I want to talk to. Okay, did I do something? If I did something to make you angry, I'm really sorry. <sighs> Mom? Hi, sweetie. Hey, um... You realize Mary Ellen didn't come to dinner, right? Yes. Do you know what's bothering her? I don't know, honey. Well, you're the mom. Why didn't you find out? The only thing I got out of Mary Ellen was that Mary Ellen was mad at me. Really? Yeah, she said that I was the last person she would want to talk to. I don't know what I did, Mom. Well, I'm going to go find out. <sighs> Mary Ellen? Did somebody forget how to knock? I am your mother. I don't have to knock. Now tell me what's going on. Nothing. Don't tell me nothing. Your sister's very worried about you. Yeah, because if I wasn't around, she wouldn't have any overpower over me. What is this nonsense that I'm hearing? Mary Ellen, tell me what's bothering you. Nothing is bothering me. Now, you don't believe that any more than I do. You know something is bothering you. I know something's bothering you. And Julie is worried about you, too. Come on, honey, tell me what's wrong. It's just that everything in this family revolves around Julie. What do you mean? She, well, Julie gets straight A's. She's a great athlete. She's good at singing. I'm tired of being stuck in her shadow. I'm tired of her being better than me. Sweetie, I don't think Julie is better than you. Yes, you do. You always gush about her report cards. And when I, when you look at my report card, you're not as proud of me as you are, Julie. Sweetie, is that how you really feel? No, Mom, I'm just saying that. Of course it's how I feel. <sighs> I mean, you think that everything Julie does is so precious, and I'm nothing. Sweetie, I didn't realize you were feeling this way. Yeah, well, you know now. So is it right to take it out on Julie? I guess not, but... But if Julie didn't do so well in school, we wouldn't be having this conversation. Sweetie, I am really sorry if I made it seem like I didn't care about how you did. The truth is that I love you very much, and I am so proud of how hard you work. You've never said that to me before. 
Well, I guess Julie being my f firstborn, I was trying to make sure that she got some attention and there wasn't any left for you. Mom, do you have any idea how that makes me feel? Kind of invisible? Yeah. Well, honey, I am really sorry. I didn't realize th this was bothering you. Well, you realize it now. Sweetie, I am so sorry. But you shouldn't take your anger out on Julie. Go talk to your sister. <sighs> Fine. Julie? Hey. I need to talk to you. Sure. What's up? I'm really sorry for the way I was acting. You're sorry for the way you were acting? Yeah, I mean, the truth is I was mad at you. I knew you were mad at me. Tell me what I did. You didn't do anything, really. I guess I was just jealous because of all the accomplishments you made. I mean... It feels like my accomplishments don't even matter. Mom is too busy gushing over you that she could care less about my report card. I'm sorry you feel that way, Mary Ellen. Well, I do. Look, if you want, I won't try as hard. Don't do that. Do what? Guilt me into convincing you to hold back your intelligence. I'd feel horrible if you stopped doing what you were doing. Yeah, but you feel horrible about me succeeding in so much stuff. Yeah, and I'm always, it's always going to bother me. But what would bother me most is if you dumbed yourself down. That's not the big sister I know and love. You love me? You don't hate me? Of course I don't hate you. I can never hate you. You're my sister. I guess I was just jealous because you've always done so well in school. You're a great student, and I'm just mediocre. Grades don't always mean everything, Mary Ellen. Well, it seems to mean a lot to Mom. She's always gushing over how well you do in school. I'm sorry. It, It isn't your fault, Julie. I guess I just took my anger and frustration out on you. That wasn't right, and I'm sorry. I accept your apology. I'll tell you what. How about after dinner, we can we can do your homework together and I could help you. Really? Yeah. You'll be getting straight A's in no time. <laughs> Thanks, Julie. Don't mention that. Now go eat your dinner before it gets cold. I'll keep you company. Thanks. So, how did things go with your sister? Fine, Mom. Just fine. She doesn't resent me anymore. Well, that's good. I'm glad you and your sister are getting along. We are. Now, I'm going to go keep her company while she eats, and then her and I are going to work on our homework together. That's good. Hurry up and eat, and then start your homework. I will. All right. And Julie? Yeah? I am proud of you. Thanks, Mom, but you should be proud of Mary Ellen, too. She works hard. As hard as I do. Don't give up on her. I would never give up on any of you girls. I know. <sighs>